So Father Peter, do people observe Lent enough in your experience? Um, I, I, I do, th well, I mean, we could all do it better and, and more faithfully, but I still think that there's a certain uh, dedication in, among the Catholic people and a desire to do something during, during Lent. But you hear a lot of people saying now, oh, God doesn't care. God doesn't care if I, if I, don't eat, if I eat meat or don't eat meat on, on Fridays. But I think for me the emphasis is that this is a, it's, the meat is not the important thing, but this is a practice that we're all doing as a sign of our communion with one another. There are plenty of guides online to what Catholics can choose to give up for Lent, but what are the obligations? And there's two days in which the whole church, um, that is everyone from 18 to 59, observes a day of fasting. So first, the first one is Ash Wednesday, which we'll celebrate tomorrow. And the, the next one will be on Good Friday. So at the very end of Lent as we, be, we celebrate the Triduum. So these are the only two days which fasting is obligatory for everyone between 18 and 59. What is that fasting involved? It means that we could have one normal substantial meal and then two other smaller meals that do not add up to that one meal with no snacking in between. The next obligation um, which the whole church would observe during Lent is by abstaining from meat on Fridays, where you could enjoy what you want, but collectively we do not eat meat on Fridays. And that is binding for everyone over the age of 14. The next thing um, that people often overlook is what we call the Paschal Precept. Um, so every Catholic is expected to receive Holy Communion at least once a year, and that's usually around Easter. So that's part of the Paschal Precept. And another thing which prepares us for that is to also celebrate the Sacrament of Confession at least once a year. During Lent, Christian penance and abstinence feel less like obligations when we're reminded of their origin. Fasting is one of the most fundamental practices of, of the faith. We see even Christ himself fasted. And that's what Lent is, is modeled after, Christ in, in the desert for 40 days fasting and, and praying. So that's what we're doing during this time. The two great themes um, during Lent for everyone is baptism and repentance. So for those who are preparing to receive the sacraments, the focus is on baptism. And then for the whole church, those who've been baptized, it's on, on doing penance. Confession would be, would be obviously something encouraged during this time. Like I mentioned, we should preferably do it every year before, before Easter. And once again, realizing our need to seek God's mercy and to celebrate in the sacrament of confession. Father Peter told me that even Catholics who find Lenten obligations difficult can still reap the spiritual benefits you do hear people that are very dismissive of the whole of the whole concept, but then those others that that have enjoyed the practice, that see a benefit to their spiritual lives. I think often people realize they don't need as much as they as they thought they did, and this is a way in which they they become aware of that. Reporting for Currents, I'm Conrad Aderer.